Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about why I like to use guitar cabinet impulse responses instead of real mic'd up cabinets or stock cabs in modelers. Sometimes I get comments on my videos from people who don't seem to understand the benefits of impulse responses. And there are also a bunch of myths out there about IRs that simply aren't true. Now, if you're not familiar with the term IR or impulse response, I highly recommend looking into it and doing some research. There is a dedicated page on the Ownhammer website that explains exactly what an impulse response is, and I will put a link to that page in the description below. In short, an impulse response or an IR is a digital recreation of a real mic'd up guitar cabinet. This means that you can get the sound of an actual real guitar speaker cabinet inside of your DAW or digital modeling platform. I don't want to make this video too long, so let's get into it right away. So here are nine reasons why I like to use impulse responses or IRs instead of real mic'd up cabinets or stock cabs in modelers. Reason one. Proper IRs sound virtually identical to a real mic'd up cabinet. An IR is very capable of capturing the frequency response of a real cabinet with great accuracy. If you were to properly capture an IR yourself, and then compare that IR to the real cab through the same setup, you will find that they virtually sound identical. It's basically close to impossible to hear the differences when you do this correctly. There already are a couple of great comparisons out there on YouTube that compare IRs to speaker cabinets, so I highly recommend checking those out if you're still in doubt about this subject. Reason two, the sound quality is often much better than doing it yourself. A lot of IRs, like the ones from Ownhammer for example, were created by very talented people who have a lot of experience with miking up cabinets and shooting IRs. They really know how and where to place the mics on the cabs and speakers to get the best possible results. Not to mention all the gear that they have. And in the case of Ownhammer, the guy who creates the IRs has a huge collection of great sounding cabinets, speakers and microphones. And he runs them through a high quality signal chain with all the best preamps and converters so that the resulting sound is pristine. Some of you guys out there who like to mic up real cabs might have similar gear and experience. And I'm not saying that those guys can't get great results by micing up a real cab. Because of course there is nothing wrong with a real cabinet. That's where impulse responses come from anyway. But many of us simply don't have the experience or expertise that these IR producers have to offer. Not to mention the great gear collections that they have. Reason three, it's less loud. And this is a very obvious one for me. I have a couple of great sounding real 2x12 cabinets in my studio here, but I live in an apartment with neighbors above and below me, and they would not appreciate it if I used my real cabinets regularly. Tube amps with real cabs can get very loud, especially if you want them to sound good. And that's why my IR and load box setup is a lifesaver for me. My kids and girlfriend who do like to sleep from time to time also really appreciate this. So basically my whole family and neighbors neighborhood love IRs too. Another option could be to buy or build a sort of ISO cabinet or to build some sort of isolated studio room inside or outside of your house. And that could be very handy and cool to have, but that's just not an option for me right now. With my current setup, I can crank my amps and record myself in the middle of the night and no one would notice or care. Reason four, it's more flexible. When you're using IRs, it's very easy to change your cabinet, your speaker, your mic, your mic position with a couple of mouse clicks. This means that you can, for example, go from a Marshall cabinet with a green back, mic'd with an SM57, directly to a Mesa Boogie cabinet with a V30, mic'd with a Royer 121, for example, within a second. This means that you can get a sound that works for you within a very short amount of time, thus leaving much more room for being creative. I personally love having all these tonal options at my disposal for whenever I need. And I'm also not tied to the sounds of my real cabinets. When I play through my Marshall amps, for example, I like to pair them with cabinets that are based on actual Marshall caps. And when I use my orange amps, I prefer to use IRs that are based on orange cabinets. It really allows me to find the exact tone that I need for a particular amp within a very short amount of time. Now there are a lot of IRs out there and it can be a little bit daunting to find some IRs that work for you because there are so many IRs to choose from. And that's why I often like to stick with a couple of mic mixes from the Ownhammer packs. I know how those mic combinations sound because the quality across all the Ownhammer packs is very consistent. So before I even load up a single IR, I usually already know which mic mix I'm gonna go for. The summary or quick start folders in the Ownhammer packs can really help to guide you through this process, as they can make it much easier for you to find the perfect mic or mic mix that works for you personally. Reason five, they are relatively affordable. Let's face it, a real guitar cabinet can cost a lot of money. 
Most high quality cabinets cost hundreds of euros and some of them even over a thousand. And you can buy a lot of IR packs for those amounts of money. A lot of IR packs cost somewhere between 10 or 30 dollars. And in the case of the Ohnhammer IRs, you often get multiple speaker options in those packs. Imagine having to buy that in real life, a physical cabinet with the stock speakers that come with it, and also another pile of alternative speaker options, not cheap. Reason six, the sound is consistent. What I mean by that is when you mic up your real cabinet, you're gonna have to spend time finding the sonic sweet spot. But that sound can completely change if you accidentally bump into the mic, for example. Because changing the mic position, even an inch, can completely change the sound. And after that, it can be really hard to find that exact sweet spot again. And with an IR, you know that you can get that exact same sound whenever you play or record. Reason seven, IRs often sound better in guitar amp modelers than the stock cabinets. A lot of modeling platforms like the Line 6 Helix for example, come with built-in stock cabinets. And while those stock cabinets can sound fine, a proper impulse response can really take your guitar tone to the next level. Great IRs can really make a digital guitar tone sound so much more realistic. Because the cab and speaker portion of a guitar amp tone have such a huge impact on the overall guitar sound. It also just gives you a lot of control and you won't be limited by the tonal options that the stock cabs have to offer. Reason 8. Real guitar cabs weigh a lot. Seriously, guitar cabinets can get so heavy and they can really break your back when you have to log them around. And since an IR doesn't have any weight at all, this is an obvious benefit. And this also brings me to my final reason, reason 9. Real cabinets take up a lot of space and IRs don't. IRs obviously don't take up any physical space aside from the space that you need on your hard drive to store the IRs. If you were to buy a bunch of real cabinets and real speakers, your studio space or storage room will fill up quite quickly. Because real guitar cabinets simply are large, they take up a lot of space. Again, this is a very obvious one, but I figured I'd mention it anyway. Now let me just say, of course, real guitar cabinets will always have their place. IRs are obviously based on the real cabinets, so we would not have any IRs if there weren't any real cabs. Real cabinets can be very satisfying to play through when you're on stage or in a rehearsal room, for example. They have the tendency to really fill up the room with sound, so they sound really big when you play through them. Especially when you pair your amp up with the right cab for that amplifier. So it can never hurt to have one or more speaker cabinets at your disposal. As I said earlier, I also have a bunch of real guitar speaker cabinets that I would not get rid of. So I'm definitely not trying to knock real cabinets here. We're just looking at the advantages that IRs have to offer when compared to real cabinets. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think about this subject? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please also hit the subscribe button along with the bell. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.